Lou Dobbs is going to cry some crocodile tears about fair elections on Fox News. Let's check it out, and then I have quite a bit to say about it. This is a bit of a departure, but not too much. I, I, the idea of early voting right. uh, that has overtaken much of, of the country uh, extends Election Day across weeks and weeks. Right. Uh, and uh, and we're left with this situation where Election Day is no longer Election Day. No. And it sounds like and looks like and feels like a recipe for immense fraud uh, on the part of the... Uh, well, it's, it's, it's coming. I mean, I think there's a lot of fraud that goes on already, and, and I think more and more are coming uh, as, as time goes on. Uh, so what's the rationale for this? This makes no sense. Either have a vote or don't have a vote. But Election Day doesn't include early voting no, and doesn't. late counting. Right. And what was it Stalin said? Uh, you know, you can vote, let me count. And you get into, you get into the holidays and people pay less and less attention. So the fact that the Democrats in Florida are calling for counting every single vote and the fact that there's an automatic recount triggered when you get within 0.5%, uh, percent, he's now comparing that to Stalin. No, Lou, I think uh, the opposite would be more true. The idea that just shut it all down because I want to say I win even though all the votes are not counted, which is what the Republicans are doing, that's a hell of a lot closer to Stalin. Although I think neither is really directly comparable to Stalin. You fucking buffoon. God damn it. These guys are unbelievable with their hy hyperbole. And But here's the thing. They all get on board with the same narrative and they just push it all day long until that position becomes the duh position to many people in the country. And then also, they take their narrative and they force that into the mainstream media where it becomes like a 50-50 proposition. And I've already seen the headlines. Like, oh, Democrats say the counting should continue. Republicans say this is an attempt to steal the election. That is a terrible both sides framing that's nowhere near resembling the truth. The truth of the situation is we need to count every vote to get the real fucking answer as to who won. And then probably the even bigger point is he's against early voting. Now, you know why early voting exists. Most reasonable people could do some basic logical deduction and figure out why it exists. I mean, we live in a country where we vote on days where people have to fucking work. So, uh, first of all, voting should be a holiday. You, sh you should get off to be able to go vote. Um, we should have automatic voter registration. That's another thing. We should have ranked choice voting. That's another thing. Um, but he's against early voting. Hey, dipshit, some, for some people, that's the only way they can vote. So, for him to then say, oh, this is, I mean, there's so much voter fraud. Listen, all of the fucking concerns from the right about voter fraud are bullshit. They're not true. I don't even think they're really concerned about it. Because the real issue is what? Election fraud. That's the real issue. Not voter fraud, election fraud. So when you look at election fraud, yeah, you could look at what the DNC did to Bernie Sanders, for example. That's a pretty goddamn good example. When you look at election fraud, you could look at the fuckery going on, uh, specifically uh, in Tim Canova's district. I don't know if you guys have been following that, but Tim Canova and uh, Debbie Washman Schultz beat Tim Canova, but Tim Canova got like 4% in the polls. But the all of the polling that was done before then had Tim neck and neck with Debbie Wasserman Schultz. So you're telling me all the polls showed like a close race, like a 50-50 type situation with the Republican nowhere in sight. And then in the general, you had like the Republican get over 30%, Debbie Wasserman Schultz crush, and Tim Canova only get like 4%. Immediately there was red flags there. So the real issue is election fraud. The real issue is not voter fraud. Voter fraud is what they, they're boogeyman where they're like, ah, we have to purge the voter rolls because we think the Democrats are going to bus in illegals to vote or vote like eight times in a row. The same person's going to go vote like eight times in a row. So what they do in reaction to that is the real concern. Look at what, hap look at what happened in uh, Georgia. I happen to know the specifics of the situation in Georgia. Greg Palace, journalist, did great work there. He found that over 300,000 people were uh, wrongly purged from the voter rolls after the 2016 election. Um, Kemp, Brian Kemp, who's running for governor, is also the secretary of state, so he gets to oversee the elections. He oversaw his own election. And he did the exact match uh, trick where they purged an extra 53,000 people. And oh, would you look at that? Come to find out 70% of those people they purged were African American. And those are people, they were signed up by the New Georgia Project, who Stacey Abrams, uh, she founded that. And that she was... 
she took part in that where she tries to get non-voters registered to vote. So all people that Stacey Abrams got registered to vote are people that were purged because, ah, oh, man, shit. Your address changed and we didn't update or you didn't vote in the last election or oh my god You have a middle initial on your driver's license, but no middle initial in your signature for when you vote Ah man, the fucking your signature looks slightly different on this thing from this thing. We're purging you. Oh my god There's a John Smith. Well, there's another John Smith that lives over there I might I should probably purge both of you because how do I mean you could be the same person voting twice all these tricks They use that's election fraud. That's election fraud. That's the problem not voter fraud so ironically all of their crocodile tears and they're bitching and they're screaming and they're yelping and they're moaning about oh voter fraud voter fraud voter fraud that's part of their process of election fraud where they muck up this fake problem so they can sell you the answer and then the answer actually disenfranchises more voters and that's election fraud so it, they flipped the truth exactly on its head by the way there's been studies into voter fraud nearly non-existent I'm not kidding about that there was a study they look it, just Incredibly rigorous and detailed study. They found that you're more likely to get struck by lightning than there is to be voter fraud It's no joke like point oh 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 one percent or something insane like that so It's bullshit. It's bullshit. They're trying to steal the election just like they did in 2000 by the way That's not hyperbole. That's not some far-left conspiracy theory um there was a, a well-publicized 2001 study that recounted everything in Florida and when they recounted it, they found, oh shit, Al Gore actually won. And it's not like up in the air, we know it. So the fact that Bush became president, that just was the wrong thing to happen. If you actually did a recount the right way, Al Gore would have won. So now we're not going to make that same mistake again. We should never make that same mistake again. Count all the votes. Do the recount. Let's make sure we get everybody overseas ballots, provisional ballots. I don't give a fuck. Do it all because we need the right answer. Not because it's nefarious, but because it's democracy.